so in last episode we have seen how we can show the booking calendar like in the single page where we can see all the rooms for that particular room which room is booked and which is available right like that everything you can see in a booking calendar now the next then the last part horizon right so let's check the room booking api so at the end you can see book room api now in book room api you can see what things we are going to need the basic customer detail you can see up till now this is just a basic customer detail then booking id is my primary key so we don't have to send it room id so room id is on which room we clicked it on the book room so let's say i click on over here so room id will be the room id of the gold let's say if i click on tiger so room id will be whatever the room id for the tiger right after that booking from date and to date right so booking from date will be like where i have clicked means at the top let's say i click on 17 or 18 so that will be the my date then booking rate the uh, whatever the tariff we say narration if we have to enter anything and the booking details is going to be multiple so means uh, what are the guests uh, are going to stay in that room that we need to capture that is going to be multiple so first thing we have to design a form to hold this kind of structure right so we already had created one component so let's go to that this is our component that is new booking so here we are going to create a form to uh, which will be comprising of all these fields we have seen. So let's start designing that form. So let's say row, call three, label, name, and after label we are going to need a text box. So input type. Text, I will add a class placeholder. Right, so like this, I will just design the whole form. Till that time, I will just pause the recording. Right, so I have created a new booking form. So you can see whatever the fields we have discussed like that i have created form so name mobile number basically customer detail for customer detail right then we have to select the room here we have to integrate the rooms we get from the api then room tariff we will enter booking from date and to date anything extra details if we have to enter and the guest like because guests are going to be multiple so if we click on add again one 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 row will be added right so this is just a UI I have created. Let me just show you the UI part also. This is very straightforward bootstrap form. Let me just show you. So you can see label text box, label text box. Same thing is going over there. Just in the guest detail, we have a table. And inside that table, I have created three TDs. And in first two TDs, I have the text box. In last, I have one a remove button. And on click of this add, we are going to add an empty row over here. Right? So next thing, first we have to create an object. So this object I will copy. Now this scenario is single with multiple entity because the booking object, this is single, but guests are going to be multiple, right? So we are going to cover that scenario as well. So let's create the object first. So here it will be booking obj colon any. Again, I'm creating objects with any, but you can create class and interface everything you should create right just to save the time i'm going with any now in the booking object we have this number of properties now one more extra property we are going to need that is the child one that is guest object this 
right? So here we don't actually let it be like that because we have this in the API. So let's re let's initialize. Let's replace string with empty. After that, this date also we don't need. Let's keep it empty. Created date, we can send the new date, the default date. So new date, right? So it will send the book uh, currently new date, right? So you can see booking object I have created. Then one more object I have created that is guest object. Just now, this booking object we have to bind to our form. So copy, let's go to HTML. So over here, or all the text box, right? So square bracket, round bracket, ng, model, we have to bind it. Dot, this is the name property. So we have to bind the name field over here. This name field will go over here, right? So just like that, I will bind all the properties. Till that, I will just pause the video. Right, so you can see I have bind all the properties I had in that object with the respective input fields, right? Apart from the table, right? Now, this table, the guest table is going to be inline editing, right? So let me just remove this. Now, the TR is going to be dynamic, but that will be on this object and this property that is hotel booking details, right? So on this TR, I will use the for loop star in G4, let guest of object dot the property where we are going to have the guest details, right? Now here also we are going to need the ng model because this is in line editing. So ng model, but we are going to bind with for loop instance so guest dot let's check the properties what we have that in the object customer name it will go over here just like that other number will also go over here so this is just a tricky part in case of inline editing we just need to bind the and for loop instance with the ng model right so basic thing is done now First thing, like on click of add, we need to push empty array, M, uh, just an object to this array. So let's create the function over here. So click add guest. Let's create this function. Let's create constructor first because we are going to need it. After constructor, let's create the method add guest. Now on click of add guest, what we are going to do, we have to create one local object. So const obj is equal to, now we have to detach the connection between this object and that array. So that's why I'm stringifying it. The guest object we have to stringify this dot guest object. And again, we need to convert it back to the object form. So constant parse object. JSON. To, con to convert this, this is why I'm doing because it will hold the reference. Whenever you do change in the one row, it will reflect in all the rows. So that's why I have to detach the uh, connection between that object and the array. So that's why I'm doing like this. And this object we have to push it over here and now this parsed object we have to push to the booking object dot this property hotel booking details array and this that will be unshipped because that in the top row we have to add it we have to pass this so let's just save and check if we are able to add the multiple guest Currently, you can see we don't have anything, but if I click on add, you can see it is getting added. Now, multiple guest name I can add, right? Same way I should be able to remove also. So let's create that function as well. Remove guest. 
and this function will have an index number and we have to remove from this array only dot splice method we have to use and we have to pass the index and how many rows we have to remove so one only and this function we have to call on that remove button over here but that function has parameters so we need to pass the parameter so index we can get it from over here let index is equal to index and this index only we will pass over here so let's just test the whole functionality no on add add let's add chetan over here let's add some dummy number number now if i click on remove so you can see that particular row got removed now the whole form is ready now on click of create booking we just need to integrate this api right so for that Let's go to the service and let's create our API call function over there. So service. Let's copy. Create booking. Right. And the API method name is book now. Book room, I think. Yeah, book room. So instead of this, room, right? The remaining thing is thing because post API is there. Now this API call, this function we have to integrate on the button click, right? So let's create function on save booking down bracket. Now API call function is in my service. So obviously we have to create the instance of that in the constructor. So private room service colon room service now in our function we have to call the api so this dot room service dot create booking and we have to pass the object that is nothing but booking object we can subscribe to the response we get from that api Just an additional check with the result if API call is success or not. Right. So then we can show the alert. Booking created. And in else we can show the error message what we get from the API only. So res dot message property. And this function we have to call on the booking button. So at the end, we have create new booking button over here. We have to call the function, right? So let's just test if booking is uh, successfully done or not. Let's first check the booking calendar. So in the booking calendar, you can see, uh, let's say this horizon room is booked on 13. Let's try to book for 15. Okay. So horizon. Okay. One more thing. Room API we have not bind. Right, so we need to get all the rooms and do that uh, dynamic drop down also. So again, one API call we are we have to make on the page load. Now on the page load we have to make the API call. So let's implement the ng on in it on in it. Let's implement that. After a constructor ng on in it. Right, so here we can say load rooms. This dot room service dot get all rooms. API function was already we have created. That is the use of service. So you don't have to again and again write the API calls. Dot subscribe round bracket round bracket result colon any now whatever the response we get that we need to store so room list 
colon Na of Ra is equal to empty initialization. Right. So whatever the response we get that we need to store in this variable. So this dot room list is equal to res dot data. And this function we have to call on the page load. So in ng on init, we will integrate this. Right. So let's just say, okay. We have got the rooms, but options are not dynamic yet. So let's make that option also dynamic. So this was the drop down. Let's make it select room. Now one more option I will create. Now we need to iterate the for loop over here. Star in G4, let room of our room, right? Now on the value, we need to bind the room ID because that is what we are going to need. So room dot room ID. Let's check the API call as well. What do we get in the? Always make sure whenever you bind something properties like this, now you should be always copy pasting from the response whatever you get because if you make the spelling mistake, then again you won't get any error, but your code also won't work. So yeah. So room ID I is capital, and in the option we have to display the room name room dot room name we have to show like this so let's just save and on the page load we should see the api call and whatever the response we get that much room should, should be visible see now rooms are visible now let's try to do the booking let's say E A R A G Parag. Let's enter dummy mobile number. Let's enter dummy mobile email ID also. Let's enter some other number. City. Let's enter Pune address 21. Right. Let's say we are trying to book the horizon room. Let's say room tariff, let's say 500 per night or something. Booking start from. So let's try to book it on the 16. Up to 16 only. Just he wants to stay, uh, he wants to stay at one day only. Let's enter some dummy room paid by cash or something. Because we have not integrated payment gateway. Let's he has let's say he has two gates, two guests with him. Zoom on. Let's add some dummy move. Let's add one more. Right. Now on click of create booking, our booking object will be single, but our guest will be multiple. That object should be visible properly. Let's check the network tab on click of create booking. Okay, some error we have got. Let's check what we did way wrong. Let's go to payload. So now here you can say other number is correct. Address is also correct. Booking from date, booking ID is zero. Remaining details are fine. What went wrong? Address we have not sent correctly. Let me just check this, uh, you know, the object we have created with my API project. Then we will get the error because currently we are getting inner line exception. With this, we cannot identify what is the actual cause let me just turn on the api project right so actually we forgot one thing so you can see the, it is going to the catch block and here we can see the error the error is the insert statement conflict with the foreign key that is with user so if you remember in the booking room booking uh, object we have a created user flag here it is book room we have created that and here we need to send the user id because this is nothing but foreign key so we need to send it and in our current object we don't have it that's why the error is there so let me just add a debug point over here rather than filling whole thing again i will just add it over while debugging only so let's add a debugger over here let's try to book again now now let's check the any user ID if we have get all user. Yeah, one ID we can pass. 
So created by user ID was not present. That's why error API API call responded with the error. Let's say create no booking. And now this booking object created by is zero. So let's just change it. I have added the debugger. So this dot created by is equal to one. Now in the created by field, we have the ID, right? Now API call will be successful. Let's continue. Right, so now you can see in the result property we got true and the booking is successful. Now the booking was done on 16th and the room was horizon, right? So let's go to booking calendar and now on 16th of the date in the horizon room we have booked in the name of Parag, right? So this is how we have done the booking part, right? Now the booking component was different, but same thing, You the same component, you can make it a reusable and you can, on this click of this, you can pass the room ID and the date and you can use the same thing, right? You can make that component reusable also. But for now, we have completed the basic flow of room booking. So whatever the room use uh, book from there, that booking room uh, booking will be visible over here, right? Again, uh, booking, component is there. So here you can show the, all the booking, just you have to integrate the get API and whatever the records you get that you can display over here. I will just explain the API also. So the API will be get all, get fill, oh, sorry. That is a filter booking. That is mean, uh, it is a server display it over here in the card format or the table format also, right? So this comes to an end of a hotel booking application this is and this is not a product right only this uh, application we have considered like for a particular hotel right but let's say if we have to convert this application into a product means multiple hotel applications can use it they can register and they can use it so we have to integrate we have to modify the api also and some front end code also but the basic code will be same just with every api we need to pass the hotel id Right. So in that, by doing that, you can convert this application as a product also. So that on one pro one, this, this one software is, can be used by multiple hotel owners. Right. So that's it with the current video. If you are liking this, or if you have any suggestion, please do connect with me on LinkedIn and you can share your ideas. Also, I will try to convert that idea in a mini project video like this till then. Please do less like and subscribe.